Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and last night about 11 o'clock, we had a surprise, a monsoon storm that lasted about 45 minutes, and it just happened to hit our fifth, 40-foot fifth wheel broadside, which rocked it back and forth very uncomfortably. <laughs> and so this morning, as soon as I got up and there was enough light, I put my drone up. I thought I would go see if there was any damage. And uh, so here we're looking at uh, my granddaughter's boyfriend's Corvette. Um, the cover's blown off, but also that's the hood that was laying on top of the... It's heavy. It takes two guys to lift it. And it was laying on top of the uh, up top of the Corvette. And then those white legs you see sticking up back there, that was a pop-up canopy that my son had set uh, so he could work in the shade when he was working on his Jeep. Well, that uh, may not ever pop up again. <laughs> we'll find out. So uh, then I decided I'd, I uh, would go fly around a little bit and see what else what else was done. And, of course, the first thing I checked was my weather vane. <laughs> and there used to be a piece of cloth about a foot long hanging on the tail so you could tell if there was a breeze or if it was totally calm. And that got ripped off, so I'll have to start over with that one again. And then I also noticed that down the down the uh, driveway here, the uh, another limb had been broken off of that tree. I don't remember what they call it, but it's got a green bark on it, and they're they're very easy to uh, to break in windstorms. So we lost another wind, uh, another <laughs> another limb. And then as I came a little further along, I noticed that our garbage can had been blown over. Fortunately, it was empty, so uh, that didn't cause any grief. <laughs> well, anyway, so then um, we, uh, it, we've had more monsoon rain in the last month than and the precipitation is more than what the Phoenix area generally gets all year long. So uh, it's just a little bit more than what we've seen. We've been down here five years, and um, uh, this is the, the wettest summer we've seen. Now, I, I, there wasn't much damage around the neighborhood, but I did have a friend who uh, did some pan panoramic shots and couldn't figure out how to get them stitched together, and the DJI Fly app does it for you. So I sent him to the link that I used when I learned how to get uh, to get it all taken care of. And then I thought maybe there's other people that uh, would like to uh, to know if they just haven't figured it out yet. So I took a shot of myself, a panoramic shot of myself standing by the fence, and we'll call that a panoramic uh, droney. And then uh, I'll go through the process here of... Uh, what you have to do. First of all, you have to connect your phone and the drone together in order to uh, get the panoramic shots uh, stitched together using the, the DJI Fly app, and then you can get them off your phone. So um, you, you go in there and you click on the album, and then you see the little symbol for the panoramic 180, uh, each little video there that's got a panoramic shot. And so uh, we're going to take a look at this one by the fence. So we'll click on that. And that takes us into where it's going to stitch things together. And so it's stitching them together there. And then after it finishes stitching them together, uh, it'll optimize them. And uh, you'll have your, you'll have your, uh, your panoramic uh, shot that you can get off of your phone. So uh, that's, uh, that's how you go about it. Now, I use the smart controller. And uh, it, it's done a little bit differently, and so I'll go into that. But there's there's what you end up with uh, when you let DJI uh, Fly App uh, put it together for you. But if you happen to have a, um, a smart controller like I do, then you turn off everything and turn the smart controller back on without the drone and uh, go in and you go over to the uh, lower right-hand corner and uh, where it shows you the little four squares there and you click on that and that will take you into the main menu and then you're going to go up to the file manager and click on that and that will take you into the different uh, areas of the of the uh, internal memory 
And so you click on the one that says images, and then you'll come down. Uh, if you, See, I've got a lot of them in here. If you haven't got a lot, that's okay. But I come down to the one that has the latest date on it. And of course, since I'm making this uh, recording on the same day, so then it says 1049. So you come down where it says panel photo, and then you uh, find which one you need, and you click on it. Then uh, you get this to look at. And these are all the different photos and panoramic photos and so forth. And so you scroll down to the bottom, and there I am over on the right-hand side. Plus, I made another one of the tree. So we'll click on uh, uh, Edit, uh, which is down there in the lower left. Click on Edit, and uh, then we can click on the ones that we want to select. So we do that, and then we're going to go click on Copy down there. And that will take us to where we can paste it. And so uh, we we uh, want to put it on the on the SD card, and then we click. I put mine in the in the uh, D DCIM, and then we uh, paste them in there, and it's, and it's that simple. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I made this go fast. Maybe you can watch it twice if I went too fast for you. But uh, uh, so as it turns out, um, it's not that hard to get them stitched together and uh, get them off your phone or off your smart controller. Thank you for watching my videos as I come home here. My dog's landing, my dog's laying where I'm planning to land. But anyway, thanks for watching the video and God bless.